Welcome to the Old Men of Three with JJ Reddick and Tommy Alter, presented by Cash App and brought to you by 342 Productions. Tommy, this is episode 60. Boban Manjanovic, my teammate. This is also a special episode of Eat, Pray, Dunk, presented by Beyond Meat. We, before, I, before we get to Boban, I wanted to bring this up. Coach K, of course, announced uh, yesterday, Duke announced yesterday, he had his press conference today, that this would be his last season at Duke. John Shire is going to be the assistant coach. Um, I, I would encourage any listener, if you don't quite understand how important Coach K has been in my life, to re, re-listen or listen to our interview with Coach K back in October that we did for Old Man of the Three. Um, I specifically think of my sophomore year and I hit a low point. I was in a fishbowl at Duke. I was not prepared as an 18 and 19 year old to deal with the pressure of playing at Duke, to deal with the responsibility of playing at Duke, to deal with the animosity that came my way from opposing teams, fan bases. I just wasn't prepared. And I, I went South. I went into a dark place and if it wasn't for Coach K, I would have never came out of that place. And he challenged me. More importantly, he forgave me. He forgave me as a 19-year-old for being a knucklehead. And he gave me essentially a second chance. I'm forever grateful for that. And I wouldn't be the player or the person I am today if it wasn't for Coach K and specifically that, that moment in time. My other favorite Coach K story is, um, and, and this will get to sort of my second point about Coach uh, my after my fourth year, Chelsea and I got married on June 26th, which, which was a Saturday. It was also the first day of the Duke basketball camp for kids. The coach is always, you know, a regular at camp. He watches the games. He interacts with the parents. He sets up a signing station, and all the kids come and sign, get get an autograph that day. Um, he went to camp that day. Took a PJ down to Palm Beach. Booked a room at the hotel. Changed into his suit. Uh, came to the, uh, the the wedding, came to the reception, stayed late, ordered his own wine because he didn't like the cheap wine that I had ordered for the for the, for the wedding, uh, danced with all the grandmas, got back on the PJ and was at camp the next morning. Um, that was the moment for me when uh, Coach will always be coach to me, but that was the moment for me when Coach became my friend, like my lifelong friend. And I love him so much. I'm so grateful that I got to be a part of the Duke basketball family. And if you look back, Tommy, you're talking about over 40 years of players that have played for him. Our fraternity is so deep. It's deep. It's deep. deep. I was going to say, I mean, I was just going to say, think about all the different, you know, thousands of different people that have come into contact with him through the organization that have their own stories like this. Yes. 100%. 100%. He's just, he's an amazing, he's an amazing coach. He's an amazing man. He's an amazing leader. I'm happy for him. I'm excited for this Duke season. I'm excited for John, especially. John used to come and stay with me when he was in high school, when I was at Duke. Uh, we didn't play together, but I recruited him. I, 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 I nudged him as best I could to, to, to come to Duke. I've known him now for, you know, I think uh, close to 20 years. And uh, I think he's the right guy for, for the Duke job. So I'm excited for him. Um, and I'm excited for Duke. Like this season, I think should be a celebration. Uh, Tommy, I know you sent me a video of, uh, I, what's the name of the song? That he, what's the name the, of the song? The Every Time We Touch. <laughs> Every like, Time We Touch. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so Coach came out to, to that song in the press conference today. Um, which was a little embarrassing for me, but other than that, like I was just, <laughs> I was just confused because I just didn't, I didn't realize how big of a deal that song was to the fan base. I was like, why are they playing this? But yeah, when I was at school, the band used to play all the music, and then when I left, they have like a video scoreboard now. They have lights. They have, uh, they have clearly other types of music playing, and they play that song, and the crazies do the clap, and then they do yeah, a weird it's cool dance. Though. It's awesome. It's a cool tradition. I'm glad they touched on that today. It was was neat.